Good morning and welcome to today's Expedition 29 ISS update. On board right now is the crew of Expedition 29, which consists of NASA astronauts Mike Fossum and Dan Burbank, who is the current commander of the International Space Station. On the far left, you see Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa and then Russian cosmonaut Sergei Volkov, and they are further joined by Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. Big item for today is going to be the landing of half that crew. Foss and Volkov and Farakawa are scheduled to return to Earth, landing in Kazakhstan later tonight. They've been on board the station since June 9th. Commander Mike Fossum was the commander of Expedition 29 until yesterday when they participated in a change of command ceremony where he passed that command over to NASA astronaut Dan Burbank. Crew is scheduled to get inside their Soyuz TMAO-2M later this afternoon for landing with hatch closure, scheduled to take place at about 1.45 p.m. Coverage of that hatch closure will start will begin on NASA TV at 1.15 p.m. Central, 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Undocking coverage will begin on NASA TV at 4.30 p.m. Central, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, setting up for an undocking at 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern. That is when the Soyuz spacecraft will then separate from the International Space Station, perform a number of deor or separation burns as it maintains a safe distance away from the station, prepping it for its deor final deorbit burn. Coverage of that deorbit burn and landing will begin at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, with that deorbit burn scheduled to take place at 7.32 p.m. Central, 8.32 p.m. Eastern. And all this sets up for a final landing in Kazakhstan at 8.25 p.m. Central Time, 9.25 p.m. Eastern. Crew is moving through the beginning hours of their day with Fossum and Furukawa doing some deorbit prep work and getting in their last day of exercise while on orbit. Furukawa is also participating in some storing of medical samples. These are for the integrated immune experiment, which is just one of the many bio Medical experiments that are conducted on station as astronauts themselves are experiments while they are crew members. And rounding out that Soyuz spacecraft will be com Soyuz Commander Sergei Volkov, who's doing a lot of stowage work, uh, moving any final experiments and supplies inside the Soyuz so they prepare to leave the station and return to Earth. He's also taking some photographs of the external surface of their Soyuz spacecraft, and those will be downlinked the ground controllers on the ground for analysis as they prepare to undock and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. And then once they're on board that Soyuz spacecraft, he will perform all of the final system activations and checkouts, including the comm systems and leak checks once the hatch is closed. Current Space Station Commander Dan Burbank started his day with some reaction self-tests, which again are part of those biomedical experiments that the crews conduct on themselves and each other as they're on board the International Space Station. He then had some of his morning exercise. He then did some express rack configuration, which those racks contain the majority of International Space Station experiments. Later in the day, he'll do some maintenance work on the water recovery system, which is set up as part of a closed loop system inside of the station to help recycle both waste and spent water. He'll be assembling and activating a fluid transfer pump, which helps to filter out any particulates from already stored water. And then at the end of his day, he'll relocate some emergency equipment and replace some batteries inside of an experiment camera. His Russian colleagues that'll be staying on board the station with him after Fossum Furukawa and Volkov leave, Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, will be doing some maintenance work on the Russian side of the space station including some maintenance activation of the Vosduke emergency vacuum valves. The Vosduke is a carbon dioxide scrubber that helps maintain the atmosphere at safe levels for the International Space Station crew. And Anatoly Venetian will be working on an atmospheric purification system, which also helps the crew maintain a safe breathing atmosphere while they're on board. They will be helping Sergei Volkov transfer a lot of items over to the Soyuz as it prepares to land, including numerous biology experiments which will return to Earth for further analysis by c controllers and scientists on the ground. They will help with some comm configurations with the Soyuz as it prepares to leave and will also photograph the Soyuz after it undocks, making sure everything is going nominally and 
then following that they will return the International Space Station to its normal communications operations and then deactivate a few bioengineering experiments inside the Russian segment as they move towards three crew operations.